The Remington Report. Sponsored by Heritage Place, the place where champions are sold. Also sponsored by the Oklahoma Quarter Horse Racing Association. Promoting quarter horse app and paint racing in Oklahoma. And I'm your host, Greg Thompson of StallionEsearch.com. You bet I'll be watching. Hello again, everyone. I'm Greg Thompson of StallionEsearch.com. Episode 10 of 15 here on the Remington Report. Let's get right into it. Last weekend, of course, we had the stakes races for the paints. We'll recap those in the Remington Race Recap section. But let's first and foremost get right into this weekend stakes action with the restricted Grade 1 Sooner State Stakes. $100,000 guaranteed a star-studded field going postward here this coming Saturday at Remington Park. Before we take a look at the Sooner State Stakes, let's look back at a little bit of history on this great race at Remington. It dates back to 1991 and has marched up from being a restricted grade 3 to a restricted grade 2 to its current status as a restricted grade 1 which it's had since 2006. GR Carter has won the race a record 7 times and trainer Sparky Mullins has won the race 4 consecutive times with his standout trainee Country Chicks Man who won the race from 2005 to 2008. He is seen here along the rail in the Rafter SM Ranch Pink Silks with jockey GR Carter aboard, battling chances are I will to the wire in the 2008 edition of this race. After the photo finish was viewed, it was the son of Chicks Beduino that came home a winner for the record fourth consecutive time. And that makes me think of a trivia question. Has there ever been a horse? that has won the marquee older horse events of the East Tex Handicap, the Leo Stakes, the Sooner State Stakes, and the Remington Park Invitational Championship all in one year. You think you have the answer? Well, we'll give it to you right after these messages. An official representative for horsemen in the state, the OQHRA administers race, benevolence, and scholarship programs, all to better the state of racing in the state of Oklahoma. Visit OQHRA.com. Okay, we're back, and back to the question. Has a horse ever won the East Tex, the Leo, the Sooner State Stakes, and the Remington Invitation in the same year? Well, the answer is no. But... Country Chicks Man did begin the quarter horse racing season at Remington in 2006 with a win in the East Tex before moving on to win the Leo and the Sooner State Stakes and missed winning all four of the marquee events by a head to SLM Snowman with Jackie Martin aboard in the Remington Park Invitational that year. Now on to the Remington Stakes Preview. The Remington Stakes Preview, sponsored by StallionEsearch.com. Entries were drawn and the field for the Sooner State Stakes was set. The outcome of the draw proves that once again, trainer Eddie Willis is not scared of running a three-year-old in the early part of the year against older horses. As he enters the ultra-impressive star of the 2012 quarter horse meet thus far, the three-year-old a toss-up. Willis entered him into the Grade 2 East Tex Handicap in the first part of March. And the three-year-old gelding by sweet first down, motored down the center of the race course at long odds to easily beat the field of older horses going 350 yards in 17.327 seconds under jockey David Pinion. Then it was on to the Remington Park Oklahoma Derby. And as you can see, he rallies along the outside under jockey David Pinion to a three-quarter of a length victory in a time of 19.789 seconds for 400 yards into a 25 mile an hour headwind. He has been placed as a morning line favorite in this race at 5-2. But looking to ruin the chances of a toss-up's effort to win three stakes in a row falls on the broad shoulders of Clinton Crawford trained filly Candy Cartel who is going into this race with a six-race win streak dating back to June of 2011. But it was her last effort in the Grade 3 Decada Stakes going 350 yards, with the riding assignment going to jockey Tony Bennett for owner and breeder Carl Peavy House that makes her the second choice in this race. See her rallying along the outside of the racetrack to capture victory at the wire. We were able to catch up with trainer Clinton Crawford to see how she's been training up to the Sooner State, as well as his hopes that she earns an invite to the Grade 1 Remington Park Invitational at the end of the meet with a big effort here. She came back really good after her last out. Uh, we, uh, we 
been loping her quite a bit just trying to keep her fitness we're stretching her out to 400 yards uh, she's been uh, training extremely well yeah we're we're going to the sooner state we're, we've been just kind of bringing this mare up to up the ladder a little bit and we're shooting her to this uh the sooner state now and if we can have some success there we'll and she pulls up good we're trying to shoot her towards the room to bark invitation the third choice in the race goes to another horse on a win streak by the name of Cheater. He failed to win as the top choice in the SLM Big Daddy Stakes, but has won two consecutive allowance races at Remington since, and looks primed to possibly put in a big effort here. And that's the Remington Stakes preview for this week. The Remington Report is sponsored by Heritage Place. Heritage Place in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Upcoming yearling sale in September 20th through the 23rd. Heritage Place, the place where champions are sold. Okay, we're back here on the Remington Report. Last weekend, of course, two stakes races for the paints. The American Paint Classic Futurity and Derby. Let's take a look at both of them. The Race Recap, brought to you by StallionEsearch.com. We're going to quickly recap the paint stakes from last week, starting with the PSBA Grade 1 American Paint Classic Futurity. If you watched last week's show, you'll remember I highlighted the fastest qualifier by the name of Personal Ensign. Keep a watch on her in the first part of the race and you'll see she gets pinched after the start and loses all hope for victory. So then look on the outside in the 9 path as you will see jockey Cody Jensen powering along the outside with the 2 year old paint La Jolla's Mr. Big Stuff to take home the top spot in the Grade 1 event for trainer D. Keener and owner breeder Jane Cullum. Now on to the Paint Classic Derby as we find the favorite and the fastest qualifier from the trials by the name of Flash the Chicks, strolling home to victory under a confident ride by jockey G.R. Carter in a time of 19.843 seconds for the 400 yard event. Flash the Chicks is trained by Luis Villafranco and is owned by his breeder Shirley Wheeler. And that concludes the Remington Race Recap for this week. The Breeding Shed Moment, brought to you by StallionEsearch.com. This week's Breeding Shed Moment Spotlighted Stallion is the double-registered Royal Quick Flash. He's a son of Royal Quick Dash and is out of a hempen mare named Venice Song. He sired both winners of the PSBA American Paint Classic Futurity and Derby this past weekend at Remington Park. He also holds the distinction of being the sire of the number one all-time money-earning two-year-old paint horse, Flash the Chicks. And lastly, Royal Quick Flash is a past world champion, and he is a multiple champion sire. And that's the Breeding Shed moment for this week. Okay, this is a wrap for this week's episode of the Remington Report. Can't wait to talk to you next week. Of course, we'll be previewing the Bank of America Remington Park Challenge Championship Three horses I'm expecting to be there. Little bit of Baja, grade one winning millionaire Lano Teller, and SLM Big Daddy Stakes winner, Mr. Trulliono. If you can't be at the racetrack this week, go to aqha.com forward slash racing and watch all the live racing across the country as well as all the recaps or any of the replays you'd like to watch. I'm Greg Thompson of Stallion Search. We'll see you next week here on the Remington Report.